it's really simple to make Danish rye bread. We'll start with 300 grams of warm water. Then we're going to add 40 grams of sourdough starter. I'll show you how to make this in a minute. Give it a bit of a stir. Add a teaspoon of salt. Here you add almost any grain or a seed. Then 30 grams of linseed. Now we add a bit of flour. We start with 60 grams of rye flour. 60 grams of rye flour is about two thirds of a cup. We're going to add 120 grams or about one and a third cups of, of spelt whole grain flour. Give this a bit of a stir. See how liquid it is? Now for this we add 66 grams of a dark beer or in this case an, a nice stout. So we stir that up. That'll do. Over that we place a tea towel and we leave it until tomorrow. Between 12 and 24 hours will do. To make the sourdough starter just combine equal quantities of rye and spelt flour with some water and leave it for four days. After you use it, feed it in exactly the same way with equal quantities of flour and water. If it bubbles too much or you're going away, you can put it in the fridge to slow it down. It's now the next day and it's about midday and it's bubbled up a bit. Uh, it's got a sort of more glutinous feel. Uh, to this we're going to add another 100 mils of water then 90 grams of rye flour, which is uh, uh, roughly a cup, uh, uh, 40 grams of linseed. Now we're going to add a mixture called kruska, which is a, a mixture of wheat, rye, oats and barley. Each of these is a quarter of a cup. Empty this mix into the, into the tin. Now we cover this up for at least two hours. Three hours has passed. It's risen, so we're going to put it in the oven at 150 degrees for three hours. It's three hours later, and here we are. Another perfect loaf. Let it cool down a bit, but um, let's have a look inside. Mmm, beautiful. Always nice to eat when it's warm.